Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a makeup tutorial in store for you inspired by Oil Slick. More specifically, that picture that I found on Google. <laughs> so I'm going to use the Urban Decay Stone Vibes palette, which looks a little like this. I've been obsessed with this palette. I did not think I would love it as much as I do. I've used it quite a lot over on TikTok and Instagram. So if you want to see more, go follow me over there. So I'm going to begin by placing a black base all over my lid. You can use whatever you have in your collection. It can be a gel eyeliner, a pencil eyeliner, an actual eyeshadow primer that's black. I am using the black cake liner from the Mivas Cosmetics cake liner palette. I just activated it with a little bit of setting spray and just smeared it all over my eyelid. You can obviously use a brush, but I didn't feel like it. And then I'm just cleaning up the edges using a makeup remover pen thing. I think Revlon has something similar, but you can just use micellar water. That will work just fine. And then from there, you can start adding the eyeshadows from the Urban Decay Stone Vibes palette. You can use other shimmery eyeshadows that you have in your collection as well, but I'm applying them with my fingers. No particular order with this particular form formula it works much better with your fingers you get a much more metallic foiled effect so i'm just switching um, between my fingers depending on how much of that color i want to place in the specific area of my eyelid so it's not a very technical um makeup technique <laughs> if i can say it. it's almost like I'm throwing it back to the finger painting days. Um, now for the crease, I took a mixture of the two my eyeshadows. So I'm using Antidote and a little bit of Third Eye. And just like with any other smoky eye, this does require quite a little bit of blending. So grab your favorite blending brush and start blending the heck out of it. I feel like the best way to approach a smoky eye is by doing the eyes first and then moving on to your face. That way, if you do get any fallout, you can just clean that up. So I started off by priming my face. I used the e.l.f. Putty Primer, the oil-free or matte version. And then for foundation, I used the Milk Makeup Flex Foundation Stick, which I love. In this case, since the eye is so dark, I felt like I needed a little bit more color coverage than I usually do. That's why that's why I, I applied foundation. <laughs> but this one's a nice light to medium coverage foundation. As for concealer, I am still in love with the Rare Beauty concealer. It is easily one of my favorite formulas of all time. Yes, I'm not being dramatic. It reminds me a lot of the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer that I used to love. It has a very nice natural skin-like finish, blends out really nicely, but this Rare Beauty one has a little bit more coverage and a ton more shades. I mean, the Bare Minerals one only has six shades. You can't even compare it. <laughs> Rare Beauty has 40 shades. So I've been really, really liking this concealer. You thought I was done with the eyeshadow? Well, you thought wrong. <laughs> I am someone who likes to look at my eyeshadow looks from different angles. I like, you know, bringing up the mirror close to my eyes because I have bad eyesight, then moving the mirror far away. And then on the areas where I feel like it's missing something, it looks a little bare, that's where I like going in and placing more eyeshadow. So I grabbed a little bit of Ojo and uh, Jade as well and just popped it in. Uh, now for the... For the brow bone area, I'm just using the lightest of the matte eyeshadows in the palette, but you can use any other eyeshadow in your collection that's really close to your skin tone. For the lower lash line, I am just taking my black eyeliner. This one happens to be from Bare Minerals, and I'm just smudging it. Smudging it on the lower lash line. I'm not being too precise with it because I will be applying some of the eyeshadow on top of that black eyeliner. And for this, 
I am using a thinner brush. This is actually a lip brush from Real Techniques. Uh, like I mentioned, the eyeshadows don't, uh, they're not as easy to pick up with a brush. They work a lot better with your fingers, but my fingers are not as thin as that brush. So it did take maybe two or three, um, three coats of the eyeshadow for it to look like it does when I apply it with my finger. So um, now for, what is this? The waterline. <laughs> waterline, tight line. I'm just applying that same black eyeliner and I'm just really confused by my faces. Um, it's really strange having to edit <laughs> all your weird faces. But now let's move on to brows. I have a regular, like, regular serious face when it comes to brows. I am just using the Glossier Boy Brow. You've seen me use this a billion and one times. I still love it. For mascara, I've actually been using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I found a little sample that I probably got like last year. <laughs> and I remember not liking this mascara, but now I do. I find it very voluminous, so I don't know what's going on, but somehow it's working for me very, very well. Now, for contour, I am using my favorite contour of all time, which is the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Amber, which is my favorite, favorite contour color for, um, I would say, fair to light skin tones. It's not too gray, but it's not warm. It's just, it's a nice, natural looking contour color. With um, Smoky Eyes specifically, I do like adding either bronzer or contour. I need some color back into my face. Otherwise, I look pretty damn dead. <laughs> so that's why I also add a little bit on the nose just to add more color to my face. I'm going to add even more color to my face, this time with blush. This one is from Tower 28. It is the lightest of the three cream blushes. I forgot the name. It's like Magic Hour, Golden Hour, Something Hour. It's the lightest one. It's a very nice, um, it's not completely a peachy pink. It's not as warm as a peach, peachy, uh, peachy blush, but it's not cool like a powder pink so it's like it's a neutral blush there we go so for my powder using the milk makeup blur and set like i always do now i don't think i've ever walked you through how i line my lips i do like to overline just a little bit because homegirl does not have uh, much in the lip department <laughs> i have a very small mouth so I always starting from the bottom i start from the center go out to the corners and then to do the upper lip i start Start from the corners of my mouth and then drag the pencil upwards so I find that that creates more volume it's also easier for me to overline my lips and have that look as natural as it possibly can but yeah I do like overlining <laughs> sometimes I go a little overboard but um, I guess compared to other influencers it's, it, it's not that bad <laughs> lipstick Charlotte Tilbury this is very Victoria and then for highlighter I'm using one from Kaleido's makeup and uh, I just felt like this tied the look together it is very sparkly by no means is it a natural looking highlighter but it is shimmery and this look needed some more shimmer if you ask me so this is it this is the finished look I had to pair it with this crystal necklace made by a subscriber of mine her shop is moon lady gems I'll link it down below and yeah uh, this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed it I absolutely love the way it turned out it's very grungy very uh, rock and roll and uh, the shimmers are so nice I can't emphasize it it doesn't even video doesn't do it justice it looks even more beautiful and more multi-dimensional in person but yeah if you're brand new subscribe to watch more videos hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye